Hi, my dear YouTube fragrance friends. How are you doing today? Um, I'm pretty sure you all have been wearing fragrances today and um, you all had different type of experience. My choice of the day was these fragrances. So I got this ragba and then I have this molecular one. So I mixed them together. And to be honest, this eccentric molecular one added to this fragrance even more leverage, you know like more it made it kind of feel pleasant and basically like a kind of i felt like a queen you know so you can actually really feel like a queen or king while wearing these fragrances they this ragba fragrance is unisex uh you know and um, man and woman can wear it and um, basically it's middle eastern dubai type of you know fragrance and um, like a, I'm pretty sure many people know it. Some people really don't like this fragrance, but most of them really like it. So myself, I'm just the beginning of the journey of uh, Arabic type of fragrances. So like it felt slightly weird for me at the beginning, but now I'm really like kind of rocking it and really getting it. And as I told you before, you can really feel as a queen or as a king while wearing these fragrances. So really, really good guys. And um, and um, so this box was around 20 euro and they include this type of little deodorant over there and one advice that i would give you you know this one you can put it in your pocket one advice that i could give you is like always keep a fragrance in your bag because you never know when you would need it like i always keep it in my bag so it could be like small fragrance or big fragrance and sometimes when you really need it you just kind of top it up you know with this with these type of fragrances so the notes of this fragrance would be uh, let me see if i could remember i read them a few days ago so it was basically like a um, sandalwood incense uh, oud uh, there was sugar there was vanilla and there were a few a few more notes that i wouldn't uh, remember and amber as well basically this one is like a ambery type of scent you know ambery vanilla scent that's what it says and that's all what i feel but actually i have never smelled anything similar like that before so like even though i took a risk to buy these arabic fragrances and the rest as well and I don't re regret it at the moment, although at the beginning I was regretting slightly as if I thought it's going to be a waste of money. But really, you just kind of need to spend some time, uh, like just to try them on, just to spray a few sprays or more sprays and see what fits you the best, you know. So if you are working, for example, maybe you just spray a few sprays, you know. Right now I'm hitting maybe four sprays before, like you know it felt nuclear to me like the the strength of it so and also i wasn't used to it so i thought maybe i overpower people but now actually i start to really like it and like it's really such a unique fragrance S same as with anna Biath rouge um and same with unmood they are just like a very interesting type of fragrances to have and as i said before this is my favorite fragrance of um my life so far because it gave me most compliments and also i really like it because the projection is really good and once i mix it with that one so it added to this one maybe 20 percent like a uh, 20 percent of the pleasantness even more you know so so like it was vanilla amber and then plus i added that one so it was feeling like a like very nice you know i was very happy with my choice of the day like because sometimes like if you choose some fragrance that you don't like, for an example, I will be speaking about um, in the future this Nukes, you know, fragrance, like, you know, there are those Nukes fragrances. And it just can ruin your day by by wearing these fragrances that you don't like. Uh, it's just like you can feel those smell, the smell that you are not very into and it's just like really unpleasant you know so um, like um let me know guys if you have ever like had you know like let's say a fragrance that makes you feel like a queen or a king because you know this one is like a for for women and for men as well this fragrance so 
So mine would be molecular one uh, in general, and plus today it's this one, and the other one is Anna Beat Rouge Oud Mood as well, you know. And there are I have some other ones from Zara over there that could make me feel like as a little bit as a queen. But to be honest, now I realize that more Middle Eastern fragrances could make me feel better as a queen and not uh, Zara fragrance, not as much as Zara fragrances. So really good discovery. I recommend you guys to discover more by yourself if you are looking for some kind of economic you know affordable type of fragrances because like if you get good and affordable fragrances what can be better like nothing can be better when you spend little money and you get like a good good thing and it projects it lasted for me around five hours and then mm, then after i could still feel it but you uh, need to top it up slightly you know mm, so, so i did top it up just right now before i spoke and the 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 most important factor is the uniqueness because i feel like i have never smelled something like that before it reminds me slightly of calvin klein this like um fa is it fire like the, there is this like a calvin klein ambery type of sorry eternity calvin klein eternity fire i think that's what what's the name reminds me slightly of that one but this one is even better uh, so really really good guys um, uh, let me know what's your experience today or yesterday with the perfume and which one uh, made you feel as a queen so um i did more reviews about um, this one and the middle eastern fragrances that i bought before there was like a ijazi uh, fragrance and uh, amir al oud and this dupe for baccarat rouge from anna biat from latafa and i was rating them as well so if you are interested to listen more about middle eastern fragrances or per perhaps zara fragrances have a look at my videos that i made in the past and i will come back to you very very soon uh, have a great day everyone and bye bye